What up, y'all? How goes it? For those of you who don't know, we survived the hurricane because it just fucking hung out over the Bahamas, literally right next to the coast of Point, where I live. And then just decided to mosey on up north and completely leave us alone, which was really weird. I work in Boca and I live in Boynton, which is like much closer to West Palm, which kind of got a little bit of the rain and wind and shit. And I had a hurricane, like hurricane weather happening outside my house, like in my neighborhood, because I'm on federal really close to the beach the whole time. And all my friends that live in like Boca, even Delray, or like even further south, it was a sunny the entire time. <laughs> um, I feel so bad for the Bahamas because the destruction there is just ridiculous. I mean, to have a category four, category five hurricane just creating like a fucking blender over a tiny island that's really not equipped for that level of a hurricane for three fucking days is unbelievable. I mean, we've been hit by cat fives and we've been hit by cat threes that were really, really intense. It just kind of depends, you know, which way the wind is spinning, how, like if, if it's raining on top of just being windy, because this hurricane was mostly wind, but that's all it needed to be for them. And I just feel so bad. Um, I know that a lot of places, including um, my work, my people in my development, my community that I live in, just people all over the place are doing tons of benefit relief efforts for the Bahamas and I think it's really great. I saw that Carnival Cruise Line sent a cruise ship out of the port to go send a bunch of people and a bunch of supplies down to the Bahamas. I saw a guy bought 100 generators from Costco and is sending those to the Bahamas. So, um, you know, that's not, that's not gonna fix all the damage that's been done, but hopefully make you know, situation livable during this time because the damage is just incredible. Sad stuff being said, um, I mean, shit. <sighs> My car is fucked and I have to go buy a new one. I've never done that by myself before, so I'm gonna work on that today. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I'm not really equipped for that, like financially or otherwise. So we'll see, you know, what kind of kind of down payment I can get for my hunk of bolts that I've been driving around, like really just abusing at this point. I mean, I've taken that shit to the keys, like four times a year for the last six years. So it's got some solid mileage on it. I mean, it's only 86,000 miles, but it was a really good 86,000 miles, you know what I'm saying? Now I just have to empty out my car and hope for the best. You know, I just kinda gotta like be a big girl with my fucking big girl pants and try and fucking figure it out. But I have some really good friends around me who are trying to help me out and I think we'll be okay. I did want to show you Jezebel. Jezebel. Hello? Hi. Oh. Jezebel. Did you have fun during the hurricane? Yeah? Did you keep mommy company on the couch while she was throwing up? Yes, you did. I do have another surprise for you guys. I'm not going to tell you yet. Later on in this video, I will let you know what the surprise is. If you uh, don't follow me on other social media, then it will really be a surprise to you. The rest of you, just pretend like you're surprised for me. Just, ah! Right now, I'm gonna unload my car because I have to take it to dealerships to find out how much I can get for it. And then I gotta fucking make a decision and buy a new car by myself for the first time. Ever at 29 years old. Won't you lay your love on me? Cause I've been waiting all night. Won't you sit on down with me? I'll put you in the spotlight. Can we save ourselves some time from bad lies and good manners? I'm
Car in here. A CD called I Am Sam. I don't, I don't know who the fuck Sam is. From the old bartending days. What am I doing with these? Couple. Damn girl. Damn girl. I mean, in all fairness, I do. Heart in Paris. <sighs> kettlebell. A heavier kettlebell. <laughs> JJ Fed Supersonic, bro. Ella in Berlin. Mac the fucking knife, bro. Dude. Hello? Hello? In all fairness, these ones were already scratched so badly when I got them that they wouldn't play on my record player. So I had them hanging on um, the walls of our bathroom. Like we had like a little thing going on. And I guess they've been hiding under the seat of my car. That's how often I clean my car. Just found two of these. I think we all know what these are. Okay. No, I'm not sweating. It's not hot at all. It's very comfortable. You know, I'm not really sentimental about my car. I never have been. I take like okay care of it. I don't really like wash the interior too much because it's always got music equipment in it because I live on the second floor and as you might have noticed it's kind of a pain in the ass to get all of that equipment upstairs all the time and I don't need people in my car trying to like vacuum or shampoo around it and then when I do take stuff out of the back seat the dog goes in here and she just gets dog hair everywhere which is virtually impossible to get out of the seat so my next car, maybe I'll invest in something that prevents all that from happening, but we'll see. Let's go get a car. Right now I'm just going to CarMax just to see if my car is worth a piece of gum, maybe a rubber band. Maybe I can use that as a down payment for a clown car. I'm really nervous because I've never had to do this by myself before. But um, I'm confident in myself, kind of, sort of, not really, no, no I'm not, nope, not at all. You know, I have dumber friends than me that have done it, you know who you are. So, you know, I think I can do it. So I'm at CarMax, getting my car appraised, I don't know if that's what you call it. Somebody looking at me like I'm crazy as usual. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to get ripped off. Whoever's watching this, what is wrong with you? Car buying is such a miserable experience. Why would you want to watch somebody do it? I mean, bless you and I love you. But what's wrong with you? I've just never bought a used car before. I've been very lucky that I, I got two new cars. Even though my car is literally a dumpster inside, so I don't know who I think I am. Say, oh, this car has a scuff on the ceiling. Like, are you kidding me? I've treated my car like absolute, like a toilet. And sweaty, and my whole day's gone. It's already four o'clock. Oh, fuck. My car just won't accelerate sometimes. It's really frustrating. So why are we holding hands or something? All I know is I need to scrub a dub because I've been sweating my ash off all day. Anyways.
anyways, toodaloo. realize I've been giving some nice gentleman a show. You're welcome, sir. The shark costume came. I don't know how. I had given up. It showed up a month after I ordered it. It said it was delivered three days after I ordered it. Yet here we are. I think, I think my brand is public shame and humiliation. But I'm okay with it. This is the shark costume worth the wait. Didn't make it for Shark Week, but what the fuck, this is amazing. My fin doesn't stay up, but it's amazing. So that's reveal number one. So I finally get to be a shorty girl. I'm pretty fucking stoked. I think I'm gonna just wear this to work. I'm gonna wear it everywhere from now on, all the time. I mean, what occasion is this not perfect for? Beach, wedding, work? Very versatile. It has pockets, guys. Pockets. Hello? Pockets. I'm very happy. I mean, understandably, people are really freaked out by this whole thing. Sateha. Bo. costume and now I can be a shorty girl in a shorty world and I got my new car and I'm broke so like share and subscribe hey um, but yeah no this car is really fucking cool and I'm just really 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 happy about it so thanks for coming on my journey with me and uh, see you next week year old woman in a shark costume on a Thursday afternoon. Don't mind me. 